Okay, everybody. Um, it's an introduction to my first RC product I may be selling. Um, just trying to see if there's any interest on this. Um, what we have here is one of these 12 volt batteries. And it is a 12 amp hour battery, which is the equivalent of a 12,000 milliamp essentially lipo. Um, the nice thing about this is it is a sealed AGM battery. It can be mounted in any direction. You can't spill it. And it doesn't matter if you discharge it too far for the most part. Uh, it's not like a lipo where it will have problems if it gets uh, too low on charge. So I'll put one of those inside here and give you a view inside. It's pretty simple. These batteries sit very, very snugly in here. Um, there's, they don't even want to slide front to back. Um, they're, they don't, as far as I see, need any reason or have any reason to lock them down. Then we have a cable that comes off of here with both a male and female uh, connector, which can be stored, plugged together. It won't hurt anything because they're the same polarity. And there's also in here a USB adapter with a voltmeter that you can use for charging your cell phone and other USB devices. You can also use this with a simple USB LiPo balance plug charger as well. And the nice thing with this cover, you can see the battery, the battery voltage through there. And you can also turn that on and off through that. Um, let me grab a charger real quick and we'll see how this sorry for the mess this is my messy bas basement here and okay So, what we've got here is a Venom LiPo charger. And first YouTube video ever, can you tell? Okay, now on the back of this, it requires this connector to be used. To power it up so and as you can see that has turned on um, I have another portable charger that I use when I go places which lets you plug lipo batteries in to charge from that charger requires this plug the other reason they have both plugs is that this is the plug you would use to charge the battery because most battery most lipo chargers if we go back here have whoop, there it was a lead battery when you go in there these batteries say on them they don't want to be charged any more than three amps um, at least initially and it's a 12 volt battery so once you get back home you can plug your lipo charger into ac power and plug let's see if we can put it in here i won't actually do it but to demonstrate so when you get home you can plug your battery 
back into your LiPo charger and charge it back up to take back out next time. Uh, these systems do a couple of things for you. The big one is I see people out at the events we go to charging their batteries off their car battery, um, which is fine, but dangerous. Um, if the LiPo were to rupture, it's sitting in the engine bay usually or somewhere nearby that there can there are obviously going to be problems with that if there's a, if the light bulb goes up this lets you charge not only separate from your car battery but also away from it over where you might be set up to do um, your rc event um, these 12 volt batteries i have not run one down yet um, i have taken them on uh, camping trips and charged several I couldn't tell you how many but at least half a dozen lipos off of it and did not bring the cha charge down very much uh, off the 12 volt battery um, so I guess if uh, you're interested in one of these let me know in the comments below uh, I don't know yet what it would really take to make a bunch of these they take a most of the biggest problem is just time and putting them together so uh let me know if you're interested and maybe we'll get one put together for you thanks